Around the Ozarks in 5, brought to you by Adventure Cave Tours. Live a day in the life of a real adventurer with Adventure Cave Tours. The Springfield Green County Park Board, reminding you to go play. And Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service. Call Southwest Missouri's best plumber today for a free estimate. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Forheads. And it's Thursday. Happy Thursday to you. We're making our way through the week. Been a uh, been a good week, I think. Busy week. Everybody's that's for sure. working for the weekend. Anybody? That is Anybody? true. Okay. That is true. All right. We'll get you some news before you get there. So here you go. The Missouri School Board heard the voices of parents in the state and has decided not to develop kindergarten through 12th grade standards for social emotional learning or SEL. It seems a very strong response during a public comment time had a big effect on them choosing to do that or not to do that. Uh, More than 1,800 people commented, many of them arguing that it is not the job of the schools to teach through emotional social learning. State Commissioner of Education said, you've got one side of the argument that feels that there should be no SEL. That is the responsibility of the parent. And then you have the other side that believes in SEL, but wants to load it up with some political or ideological agendas. Both of those are ditches that we have to stay out of. Interesting. Several states, by the way, have already banned or at least limited the use um, of SEL in public schools. Yeah, interesting for sure. Uh, Three men uh, from Springfield will spend time in prison for distributing fentanyl that killed people through overdoses. Uh, The men distributed 38 kilograms of fentanyl in the Springfield area in 2019 and 2020. One of the men was sentenced to 23 years in prison. Uh, Another man sentenced to 18 years in prison. And the third man sentenced to five years in prison, all without parole for their various roles in this drug ring. Hmm. Uh New and improved Springfield, you could say, by some calculations, thanks to grant money. There is a lot of that coming our way. Um, Specifically, the biggest one is a $500,000 grant to fund what they call Green Jobs, the Green for Green Job Training Program. That's from the EPA. Uh, They will be giving Workforce Development Department the means to train and certify people for green jobs. Also, more federal money from the American Rescue Plan Act was approved um, approved to improve stormwater issues at Division and O'Hara Avenue in North Springfield. Plus, another grant will fund a new Family Connects program that is through the Springfield Green County Health Department. Uh, by the way, that aims to provide newborns and new families with health assessments and connect them to community resources through home visits. And finally, two grants will help pay for improvements for pedestrians, both for sidewalks and for crossings. All right. Swimming in grant money, it sounds like. Good for Sounds like it. Yeah, Yeah. there's a lot. The biggest one, though, is the $500,000 one. The other ones are smaller. Yeah. Uh, This is interesting. The Springfield City Council, uh, while they were in session, voted this week to create a community improvement district for a new development happening in West Springfield. It's called Brody Corners. That's the development. It's going to be located on Sunshine Street at James River Freeway. Uh, the vel- that, that development will feature restaurant space as well as retail and office space. The Community Improvement District designation means there will be a 1% tax on sales inside the district to pay for the infrastructure improvements that were made to accommodate that new development. So the uh, city wants to get their money back, and that's how they do it. The mayor of Battlefield has resigned after nearly 10 years in that position. Deborah Hickey is stepping down at the end of her term. That'll be April. uh, And she will be replaced by Board of Aldermen President Mark Crabtree. Again, that's in Battlefield. All right. O'Reilly Development is teaming up with Catholic Charities of Southern Missouri to build a community that will offer housing for homeless and at-risk veterans in Mount Vernon. The development will include 42 townhomes. Eight of them will be specifically for veterans and their families who are at risk of homelessness. The groundbreaking is going to be on Monday. That's pretty yeah, awesome. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Today, more than 250,000 Missourians <laughs> will take part in an annual event to prepare for an earthquake. Watch out. It is called drop cover and hold on. Uh, Missouri apparently is ground zero for the new Madrid fault line. New Madrid, as Ethan said. 
New Madrid fault line. It produced some of the strongest earthquakes in the U.S., uh, in the history of the U.S., in the early 1800s, and is expected to produce another big earthquake at some point in the future. However, some schools um, maybe haven't drilled in a while, so here we go. They're going to be a part of today's drill at 1019 a.m. Yeah, very I guess specific. Because it is, I guess because it's October 19th, is that why? Probably. 1019 on 1019 at 1019. Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, what do you do in an earthquake? Uh, I would. You get under your desk. Well, and you drop, you drop, you get under your desk. So that's the cover part. And then apparently you also hold on. That's what, uh, that's what they're telling the kids to do. I think I would get outside as quickly as possible. Uh, I would try to, but if it's too late, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're talking late, with a, it's too late. a bunch of people, a bunch of kids you're trying to move out, then you get under a desk and hope for the best. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, we've told you in the past about uh, Chinese companies buying up a bunch of farmland all across the Midwest. Well, now Arkansas is telling a Chinese-owned seed producer to sell 160 acres of farmland in Arkansas because of national security concerns. The company must sell the land in the next two years. Uh, that company was acquired. It was a, a U.S.-owned company. It was in, then acquired by a Chinese corporation that is on currently on the U.S. Department of Defense's list of Chinese military companies that pose a threat to our national security. Is it? <laughs> isn't that crazy? And they own their they own farmland in Arkansas. Yes. Currently. So, uh, Arkansas, by the way, uh, go yeah. ahead and finish. One one last line. Arkansas is the first state now to force the sale of land under new laws that restrict foreign ownership of U.S. farmland. That was Sarah Huckabee Sanders, by the way. Correct. Um, so my friend, my very closest friend from my childhood, is a realtor in Oklahoma City. Uh, and actually in other parts of Oklahoma as well. And there was a a time where every single one of her um, cells was to Chinese owned um, companies or, or people either way. Um, and she thought it was very unique because of the, the timing. Um, but what we have since learned as many of those became marijuana fields. Um, and so she was telling me about this today Um from Sarah, she saw it on Sarah Huckabee Sanders' um, Twitter page or X page. And um, I was like, oh my goodness, I remember when you told me that. Because Missouri um, probably does something similar. I don't know. But um, I mean, I don't know the, what the numbers are here. But in Oklahoma at that time, a couple years ago, uh, they were very, very high. So very interesting for the governor there. And we'll see how that plays out and if other states follow suit or if she gets in trouble for that um sarah huckabee sanders that is i don't know but it, i did well, not know that they were on the national security <clears throat> threat list yeah i don't that know who would argue with things, that certainly if, 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 if the united states government considers them a security threat uh perhaps they shouldn't be handling our farmland where we get our food i you know it it just seems it seems americans are uh have a very short memory and think that somehow we're immune to problems. I mean, look at Israel. Uh, look, look what that kind of stuff can happen here again. We had it on 9-11 and it's not, it's not Chinese people, but it's, if the Chinese government right, is no. involved, that's a Well, problem. I mean, I think, yes. And Americans, I mean, God bless them for having a short memory sometimes, but on this, yes, the fact that it's a company that is on the U S department, watch list uh u.s department of defense's watch list that yeah i think bigger red... will change things there but i mean honestly there's there's going to be pushback i guarantee you there is well I'm, I'm sure there is but it doesn't make sense whenever china's not our friend they're just not our friend and who knows what they're planning long term because they can play the long game and then we're in over our head and we're in big trouble with our food supply and we saw during COVID, that the food supply uh, is at risk. It can go down quickly. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see what I happens. Guess, as I don't know. There's probably going to be 
we'll see if there's like some vetting process because obviously there's plenty of, you know, Chinese people. I know China as a whole is not, but plenty yeah, of Chinese well, people who- We're talking about the communist Chinese government is what we're talking right. about and companies so. that are run by that government. Uh, all right, football news. Wide receiver McCall Hardman is coming back to the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs just traded the Jets uh, to get him back uh, with the Jets. They'll take over his uh, $720,000 that's left on his salary this year. Hardman was a second-round pick for the Chiefs in 2019 and won two Super Bowls uh, with them over four seasons. So he is back with the Chiefs. Things didn't go well uh, in uh, for the Jets when he was a Jet. So uh, hoping for better success back in Kansas City. All right. United Airlines is changing up boarding. First class and business class will still board first, but then everyone who is seated in the window seat will board. And then everyone who's seated in the aisle will board. And then everyone who is seated um, or in the middle, I should say, will board and then the aisle. So the window seats first, then the middle aisle, then the aisle aisle, if you will. You know, it's um, you know, weird. Sense. Is that makes it sense. does make sense. I just flew. Monday and Tuesday of this week. And uh, I, I sit on the aisle, but I was in there before uh, before the people who sat, uh, there was no middle seat. So on the, the the window seat. So I had to get up and it's not a big deal. I can get up. Uh, but it just makes much more sense that the window people would go in first. And, then, and I right. thought that while I was sitting there, I was like, well, I wonder why they don't do it this way. Uh, and now United is going to do it, which go United go. Yeah. I mean, it makes perfect sense, but it's just a whole new, whole new way to board, you know? Um, all right. If you like birds and you like people and you like outdoors, there is an event for you. It is free and open to the public this Saturday at 8 30 AM. You can meet up at the Lake Springfield boathouse and go for a stroll along the Greenway trail together. Uh, around Lake Springfield to bird watch. Um, you'll get to see all the fall foliage and then the migrant birds arrival. So assuming that's the weather's cool. nice, it should be super fun. Well, that's a neat idea. Yeah. I wonder what kind of a crowd they get for that because that sounds like fun. Yeah. It's a bird watching thing like the Audubon society, but um, it's called, was it called like bird, bird ability or something? I don't know. It's like a neat little, national program that um that we offer here locally as well apparently yeah that's neat there would be yeah. a lot to learn about birds i'll tell you that i know you can see them through the leaves it, you'd yeah. think it'd be better in a couple of weeks when more of the leaves are gone but maybe the birds migration deal is over by then yeah okay well thanks for joining us hope you have a great thursday everybody yes and we will see you uh back here on friday all right bye-bye